Hi there, fellow Google Sheets enthusiasts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a mobile-friendly expense tracker in Google Sheets. This expense tracker is awesome because you can quickly create budgets for any number of categories. Then you can log your expenses for the month all in one place. And finally, you can quickly view the status of any category simply by selecting it. And then you get how much you've spent, the amount remaining, and all of the transactions related to that category are automatically listed below. And if that wasn't awesome enough, the design of this spreadsheet makes it super easy to access and use on your mobile device as well. Talk about convenience. Anyway, if you want to learn how to build it, then stick with me and I'll walk you through everything from scratch. And if you don't want to spend time doing that, you can just click the link in the description to purchase it instead. Either way, it's time for us to build this simple and powerful spreadsheet. First things first, you want to start by opening a blank Google Sheets spreadsheet. Once you have it open, select columns E through Z. Then right click and delete. Next, click here in the name box, type in 101 colon 1000 and press enter. This is going to select rows 101 through 1000, and you won't need these, so scroll down, right click, and delete. Okay, go ahead and scroll back up. And from here, you want to create three copies of this worksheet. You can do that by right clicking on the Sheet tab and select Duplicate. Then repeat this process one more time. Next, double click on the first tab and rename it to Dashboard. Then rename the second sheet to Expenses and rename the last sheet to Categories. Okay, here in the Category sheet, click up in the name box, type in 23 colon 100 and press Enter. Then right click the selected rows and delete. This is going to give you enough space to add 20 categories to start with. And if you need more than 20, I will show you how to add more later on. For now, your next step is to select cell A1 and type in category. Then select cell B1 and type in budget. Select C1 and type in spending. And select D1 and type in remaining. Next, select A1 through D1, bold the font, and add a light blue fill color or a color of your choice. Next, you can enter some sample data like so. The sample data is going to make it easier to validate the features that you add in later. And once you've got some sample data, select cell A22 and type in TOTAL in all caps. Then in cell B22, enter the following formula equals sum function B2 through B21, close parentheses, and enter. Now use the fill handle to copy this formula over to C22 and D22. Now from here, select A22 through D22 bold the font, and add a light gray fill color. Okay, for the next step, select the range A2 through A21. Then place your cursor in the name box, type in category range, and press enter. This creates a range name that's going to make it easier to reference this specific range elsewhere in the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and create a few more that will also help us later on. So select C2 through C21. Then up in the name box, type in spending range and press enter. Then select D2 through D21. And in the name box, type in remaining range and press enter. Nice. We will add a few final touches to this worksheet later on, but for now, let's go ahead and move over to the expenses worksheet. 
Once on this worksheet, go ahead and select cell A1 and type in date. Then select B1 and type in category. Select C1 and type in description. And select D1 and type in amount. Next, select A1 through D1, bold the font, and add a light red fill color or a color of your choice. Now we are going to add a drop down list to the category column to make it easy to select a specific category for each transaction. To do this, select the range B2 through B100, then go to Data, Data Validation. Then on the right, select Add Rule. Under Criteria, select Drop Down from a Range. And in the box below, type in equals category range, which is the range name that we created earlier, and then press enter. You should now see the categories you entered earlier, and this list will update automatically over time as you change and add more categories. For now, go ahead and click on Advanced Options, change the display style to Arrow, then click on Done. You can then close the panel on the right and scroll back up to the top of the spreadsheet. You can now see that you have a drop down list for the categories. Go ahead and enter one row of sample data. Awesome. At this point, you want to adjust the formatting for the date and amount columns. So start by selecting column A, click on the More Formats button and select Custom Date and Time. In the pop-up window, select a date format that works for you and click on Apply. Then change the horizontal alignment to left and next select column D. Then click on the More Formats button and select the financial format. Also change the horizontal alignment to right. Awesome, the expense worksheet is now complete. Go ahead and move back to the categories worksheet. Now we are going to calculate the spending numbers for each category. So start by selecting cell C2 and enter the following formula. Equals sum if function, then click on the expenses tab, select cell B2, then add a colon and then B. This reference will reference all of the cells from B2 all the way down to the bottom of the worksheet. And we write it this way just in case we need to add more rows for expenses later on. Now you also want to make this an absolute reference and you can do this by adding in the dollar signs manually or you can press F4 on your keyboard which will add in the dollar signs for you. Now for the second argument, type in A2. This simply references the category in cell A2 back on the categories worksheet. Finally, move to the last argument and select cell D2, add a colon, and then D. And also make this one an absolute reference. Now you can close parentheses and press enter. Then use the fill handle to copy the formula down for the rest of your categories. Now you do have the option to copy the formula all the way down to the bottom, but to make things easier to read, I like to copy the formula down just for the categories that I have, and then if I add more later on, I can just copy the formula down again. Either way, it's up to you. Next, we want to calculate the remaining amounts. To do this, select cell D2 and enter the following formula. Equals B2 minus C2 and press enter. Then just copy the formula down with the fill handle. Nice. Now let's fix up the formatting. Select columns B through D. Click on more formats. Select financial. Then also change the horizontal alignment to right. Next, select the range C2 through C22 and change the font color to red. 
Then select D2 through D22 and change the font color to blue. Awesome, we are now done with the categories worksheet and all that's left is the dashboard. So go ahead and navigate to the dashboard tab. Here on the dashboard tab, in cell A1, type in category. Then in cell A2, type in spending. And in cell A3, type in remaining. Now we will add a drop down to cell B1. So select B1 and then go to data, data validation. Click on add rule, select drop down from a range, and in the box below, type in equals category range and press enter. Then under advanced options, select arrow. Then click on done and close the panel on the right. You now have a drop down in cell B1. Next, select cell B2 and enter the following formula. Equals XLOOKUP function B1, then category range for the second argument, and spending range for the last argument. Then close parentheses and press enter. Now in cell B3, enter this formula. Equals XLOOKUP function B1, then category range for the second argument, and remaining range for the last argument. Nice. At this point, let's go ahead and turn off the grid lines. And you can do this by going to View, Show, Grid Lines. Then select the range A1 through B3, click the Borders button, select gray for the color, and apply all borders. Now select A1 through A3, bold the font, and add a light gray fill color. Then select B2, bold the font, add a light gray fill, and change the color to red. Then select B3, bold the font, add a light gray fill, and change the color to blue. Nice. From here, select cell A5 and type in date. Then select B5 and type in category. Select C5 and type in description. And select D5 and type in amount. Now select A5 through D5, bold the font, and add a light red fill color or a color of your choice. And then in cell A6, enter the following formula. Equals filter function. Click on the expenses tab. Select A2. Add a colon. Then a D. And then move to the second argument. Select B2. Add a colon. And then B. And then equals and then type in B1, close parentheses, and press enter. Now you will get all of the transactions for the selected category or a hashtag in A error if there are none. Finally, select column A and change the horizontal alignment to left. Then select column D and change the horizontal alignment to right. And with that, you are now finished with your expense tracker in Google Sheets, and now you can use it to track your expenses for the entire month. Now, before we bring this video to a close, I do want to show you two more things. If you move over to the Expenses tab, and then scroll down, let's say you need space for more transactions. Well, all you have to do is type in the number of rows that you need, and click Add. Then over on the Categories tab, if you need more space for categories, just select the number of rows that you want to add like this, right click, and insert the rows above or below. Doing it this way is going to ensure that new rows are included within the range names that power all of your formulas. And with that, you now have your mobile-friendly expense tracker for Google Sheets. Thank you so much for watching. 
like this video if you had fun, subscribe if you learned something new, and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.